French women don't get fat. Never. We slim. Look at that. All the time. <laughs> so not true. French women do get fat. But we have a culture, the way of thinking and we're approaching food totally different from the others. And this is the reason why we are slimmer than the other women in the world. So stick with me because in this video, I'm going to explain to you um, how the French tradition, the way we eat, the way we appreciate the food are totally different from where you're from. And I'm not criticizing, I'm just talking to you the fact that I'm born and raised in France, even if I'm living in Australia and I'm as well very proud to be Australian but I'm still French at the end of the day. And, um, and I do things surround food that you probably don't. And if you do, it will definitely help you to keeping slim. So stay with me and let's have a look. So the reason number one, uh, we are slimmer is because we eat a lot of fruits and vegetables. Yeah, they're no secret, guys. You are what you eat, okay? This is why the uh, fitness health industry are making so much money. But at the end of the day, what do you have to do if you want to slim down? You exercise and you eat healthy food. Simple, right? It's not going to happen in 24 hours. In France, or French people all around the world, we eat fruits and vegetables, which anyway, you need to be healthy to have the dosage of proteins and vitamins. Yes, you have proteins in fruits and vegetables. Uh, but as well, it's just nice. It's fresh. So we go grocery shopping or what we call the market regularly, more regularly to have those fresh fruits and vegetables. We try to stay away of processed food, which is very hard right now because we are all time poor. So no processed food, no, um, no processed food. Okay. We try to be as fresh as it's possible. Uh, usually for depends where you are again and which uh, weather you have, but let's say in a hot weather summertime, we will have a lot of salads. Lots of it. I love it. I prepare a lot of big salads. You can keep it for two or three days. You mix it. You mix the sweet and the salt. We love the food, don't you? Worry. And we do it, okay? We are not anorexic. Absolutely not. But we eat smart. And in, in winter time, when it's cold, or if you're living in a cold country, uh, the fruits will be maybe a smoothie and the vegetables will be definitely a soup. And again, you prepare those fresh soup maybe on a Sunday and you will have a soup for at least three, four days, okay? So we do appreciate the fresh vegetables and fruits. We do not eat or drink on the go in the street, in the train, in the bus. First of all, it's, it's not allowed. And we are literally sitting down when we are having food. Food and French people, it's like the perfume in my other video. We are insanely serious about it. We love food. We love cooking. We love eating. We love the variety of fresh products. And we love to sit, we like, excuse me, to sit down, having people around. And there's a lot of life around the table. Everything's happening around the table in France. So, meaning we take the time to eat. We take the time to chew. We take the time to appreciate. We love talking about food. Uh, at the beginning, as you said, we, as you know, we said bon appétit. We don't say bon appétit, only people who don't speak French say that. So it would be bon appétit because it's like, I wish you a happy meal. I wish you a really, but not happy meal, McDonald's, happy meal, like enjoy your food. Okay, go ahead. Mm. Is drink as much water that you can. They say two, three liters per day. Uh, personally, I put those little bottles everywhere in the fridge. I love ice water, but that's my thing. And you need to drink a lot of water. And you really, if you're hungry between two meals and you know you shouldn't snack, um, then have a big glass of ice water and it will settle down. 
because if you want to stay slim and healthy, do not snack between meals, okay? Doesn't matter if you have two, three meals per day, or no, I'm not going to say five because that's for people who do a lot of sport or that's different. That's a different diet, but um, just do not eat between meals. And if you really have a bit of a, uh, if you want something you're craving, then have some almonds, have a, a fruit. French women do not get fat because we do exercise. It doesn't mean we like it. But if a French woman say, oh, I used to say that just to provoke people and say, oh, I just only drink red wine and have a cigarette. Well, obviously, stupid answer, but just to see the reaction of people used to amuse me a lot. So first of all, I do not drink red wine every day and I stop smoking. Okay. So I still need to stay slim and to fit in my clothes and to feel good by myself, uh, etc. So I do exercise. I'm not a gym person. Personally, I don't like to go to the gym. I don't like smell people who are sweating. I'm just like, it's not my thing. I like to go to the pool and go for a swim. But I have Oscar, my French bulldog, who is somewhere snoring. And, uh, and I live by the beach, but it's very hills and up and down. So it's very stiff. And that will do be my exercise. I literally in weekends walk for a couple of hours and during the week I will at least walk for an hour, an hour and a half. Um, that keeps me fit. Anytime I can take the stairs or even if I go shopping, I will definitely go for a walk. So that will be my cardio personally, plus the push-ups that I do in the morning at home. But that will be the way I will exercise and still having fun and still being practical to me because I love taking my dog for a walk. Someone one day told me how French people stay so slim when you have the richest food in the world. And that's a very good question for I'm aware of that. The, we have the best cuisine in the world. Italian cuisine is delicious. I like Asian food. But come on, French cuisine, the butter, the garlic, the parsley, miam, 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 miam. How? It's because we don't eat dishes, French dishes or French heavy cuisine, the traditional one, like a coco vin, for example, every day is no way in the world. At the end of the day, French or not French, we are all human beings. It, we have all a fast or slow metabolism. And we are not the wonder women, you know, we're just a bit smarter. So for, ex for instance, if you're inviting um, on Saturday by with your French friends and you know the dinner is going to last for three, four hours on the table, there's going to be a lot of alcohol, a lot of food, a lot of dishes, a lot of cheese and salad and the list goes on. Okay, and dessert and uh, I'm just angry, just, just hungry, just thinking about it. And it's time for me to eat as well, which is funny. Um, then you will eat reasonably this night but you know what you're not going to stop yourself you're going to enjoy the food but the day after maybe a few days after you are going to eat light because you know with all the calories you had in one day we explode the number of calories in your week don't count your calories just be smart heavy meal the day after i'm eating light and it's okay Another one as well, and I, to me, it was totally normal to do that. And until again, when I moved to Australia, almost, that's not almost, it's 19 years ago now. Yeah, so I'm definitely Australian as well. I've been doing, I have a habit when I'm eating and only Australian people just said, oh, wow, we don't do that here. Or unless now they have a nap to do that. We fast. And at least we fast two, three times per week. And it's insane the way that people who do not fast and I don't understand. So fasting is giving your body the time to digest the, the food and to, to heal, okay? So I usually fast, uh, it depends when I soon I feel a bit um, bloated or heavy or the clothes I wear too, too, too tight on me and it's not because I want to be slim it's just because I do not feel good when clothes are tight on me it's not a good feeling so I will fast so I will have a normal breakfast 
then the lunch, then maybe a snack in the afternoon with fruit or some almond. But then by four o'clock, 4 p.m., I mean, I will stop eating. And on the evening, I will not have alcohol, I will drink water, and I will wait at least the day after until midday. That will be my small fast to eat again. And I'm not going to binge eating the day after, I'm eating normal meal. And I find that doing this, it keeps, I lost weight much faster. Uh, I don't starve myself. I don't do that every day. Don't do that every day. Find the many, many apps uh, you can get access to. And as usual, Google it. Um, you know, the other way to stay slim, and it doesn't matter if you're French or if you doesn't matter your nationality or your skin color or whatever, you need to go to the bathroom for number two. Yes, I'm talking about that regularly. You need to eliminate what you've been putting in your, in your, we said in your plate, but in your mouth, okay, in your body. So we are supposing to go to the bathroom at least twice per day. Yeah, guys, twice per day. And if for any reason you don't, then again, Google it. There's some fruits will help you all go for the natural way. Don't go straight away for the laxative. That's bullshit. Okay. Go for the natural way. Uh, fruits and vegetables. Again, fibers. Um, the vinegar. I'm not 100% concerned. So I will not recommend that personally. Um, but just have more fruits and vegetables until it is back to normal and you will feel much better as well. So, a very simple way as well to stay slim or become slim, doesn't matter, depends where, you, where you're from, uh, it's portion. Wow, when you go to America and I've been, I've been to LA and order salad, first of all, they put the dressing on it a lot of dressing, so a lot of sauce. So it's like my salad is swimming in a dressing. <laughs> like, wow. And that the size of the plate, probably oh, it looks like I'm showing my boobs. <laughs> They're massive. No wonder, no wonder there's so many people over there overweight, overweight and plus. The size, you know, when you go to France or in my home and I serve you food and it would be generous, you're not going to starve, you know. But it will be much, much, much smaller. Hoping that I didn't forget everything and you take notes. So please um, let me know in your comments what if, where did you find your right balance between the love we have with food and the way to stay healthy and slim and active, you know. Um, I will talk about a bit of a red wine, but I'm a bit, because mm, I'm talking about alcohol. And usually in France, we drink red wine a lot. <laughs> Even on the lunchtime uh, at work, we have a glass of red wine that was quite common. I don't do that anymore, but I love, I love the red wine. And uh, I think red wine helps as well your body. I'm not talking about one glass of red wine, not the bottle. It depends which day of the week for <laughs> So drink, obviously, with moderation. Alcohol is bad for your hair, blah, blah, blah. You know that better than me. Um, but having this right balance, so eat fresh food. You heard that a thousand times. You know what? French didn't create any magic around the food. But we do love good food. Enjoy preparing your food. Enjoy eating it, small portion. Um, balance. If you have a big meal, just have a light meal the day after. Uh, wait yourself regularly. I know, don't be completely crazy and you know, but at least I will say wait yourself a couple of times per month. You know, it depends. We had those months is good, those months less, you know, everyone, but just rebalance everything and and be happy be happy around the table sit down enjoy your food try not to watch food uh, to watch try not to eat food while watching a movie or being you know and, and not realizing that you're eating i'm i'm first doing that but um try to have people around you enjoy the enjoy the food really try not to eat in front of a computer uh, and again, not in the street. Uh, when I say in the street, like walking, go to the park, sit down. Even if you have only 20 minutes to, to eat on the lunchtime, just sit down, enjoy, breathe, love your food. 
and enjoy your body and you know it you know and if you're really overweight and you're looking for to lose weight keep going doing this one all i've been recommending you google as much as you can is there no miracle anywhere in the world are you going to lose 10 kilos in three days that's not happening forget those stupid diet that celebrities you don't even know if it's real if they're really doing it just lose the weight if you have loose weights to lose slowly but surely and re-educate yourself around food okay and have fun thank you so much guys for watching this video really appreciate it i hope i was able to bring you a bit of value around your food and your body and be just feel good in your own shoes uh as usual please like it subscribe get the notification bell and leave a comment what is your favorite meal or what is as well your favorite cheap or what is your little secret to stay slim and gorgeous all right guys thank you so much do not forget to follow me on instagram i just opened this account so i'm growing slowly but surely like everything nothing is uh, happening on in 24 hours but uh, it's the right place as well uh, to follow me and if you want to dm me that will be the place thank you so much until the next video you take care of yourself and eat healthy <laughs> Bye.